Hi. I'm Caitlin Rose Sweet. I am co curator of installations and performances at Mix this year, and I'm also a part of the design team. Uh -huh. And tell me, what did you, what, give me some examples around here. What do you. Well, what I've done, um, well, I helped curate the installations, which were not currently in front of any of them, but we have 13 artists that um, install different pieces throughout the How do you get those artists? Well, um, Mix has an open call, um, so anyone can submit, and that basically it has to have some kind of um, experimental and avant-garde use of media in it, and otherwise it's and how many applications do you get? We get, from year to year, it varies, but we generally get like 30-some applications a year, so. So many more than you can use. Yeah, way more than we can use, you know, and it really depends on the space and how we can fit it, and then whether or not we can meet people's technical needs, and I think what is really amazing, um, this is my first year curating, and um, Andre Azevedo has been curating for years, and that we offer as much support as we can to our installation artists from formatting the videos to so helping show them me, to just... Show me around here, like, the, what did you do involved with it? Oh, with this, well, so with up here, all of this media projected up here yeah. and on the wall and the fringe, me right. and Andre um, created all this media with our help with our assistant, Fjord, who's been editing it. With and two, how do you, how do you, that's multiple images or? Yeah, these are, these are multiple images. And what we did is that we had a call out in our community for people to come um, and they basically dripped and drooled and smeared gold glitter and honey all over themselves. And how do you get I me? Mean, you want to tell me, is there any, any, any different techniques used? I don't know anything about creating anything. Well, it's very impressive to look at. Yes, well then we, um, via After Effects, um, created these kind of kaleidoscope, um, now is that is that something done with lenses or? Oh, no, no, this is all in digital editing. So uh -huh. we digitally altered the material. Now are they tapes that play over and over? Is it random the, images? The, the loops. So there's a series of loops, and then every day we are editing new ones and. How I'm long do they out. play? Like how long will one of these sets of each, images each play before one? repeating? It's like they're short loops, so like a minute or two that just comes through I loops. Um, and then you can come through. Is there any reason why? I mean, these are all like shaped like cathedrals. Well, um, just... this year, Diego, the head designer, came up with the concept of turning Mix into a queer beehive cathedral, kind of the most opulent celebration of queer collectivity that we could think of. And, and so, how about these things like the doorways with the orange uh, lady cost? Yeah, so this is kind of our cathedral wall and then the, we had an army of volunteers help us hand make... an army? How many are in the army? We, you know, sometimes <laughs> we would have over 40 volunteers a day um, coming in and cutting paper, folding it, gluing it, constructing hive. It's really an amazing process to watch mix happen because it's pretty much 95% volunteers coming in to create a space for queers and to what gather. what period of time do you have to work in? We had um, just like about two weeks to put it all together. Uh -huh. So we come into the space we had to build rooms, we had to build a screening room, we had to build an annex, um, and so we were just kind of working around the clock to, to make this happen. Uh, now what, now we have up here these four, and how about over the door yeah, here? Yeah, this one. Yeah, now that is the, over the theater entrance. Yeah, and then we also have these fringes that have media on them as now, well. Now, is that done with projection? Yeah, this is all projection. This where are they projected from, because I have no idea. That one is, um, this one is coming from across the room, right over there. Oh, uh-huh. Um, and then we have, this is an installation. We have an installation over there and over there. Do you want to tell me anything about any of the installations like, we, that are? We should look over at this one. This one will be a fun one. This is an L.A. artist. Um, the name? His no. name is Joe. I cannot remember his last name at the right now. Okay. Joe Merrill. 
Yes, and this is 3D, a 3D. This is a 3D. Um, he described it as a uh, Satanist cartoon. So it's a what? Satanist cartoon. Oh, so someone told me it was a uh, magic. Yeah, look, it's oh. witchcraft. Oh. <laughs> I wish, I wish I isn't three D right isn't three D hard to work with? I didn't know many people work with 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 three D these days. Yeah, I think maybe three D's uh, having a comeback. Well, I mean, it's it's now the standard with Avatar, isn't that three D? What's the difference? Oh yeah, there's Does no it, difference. You know, you don't you don't know till you saw the glasses. And yeah. a friend of mine was watching. I didn't realize he had the black glasses on. So I went over and told him, you know, that's three D. He said, I know I'm wearing the glasses. I thought I'm such a fool. So it's, it's a beautiful piece. And how about let's go quickly to the other ones down here. Some of the visual stuff. Okay. Do you want to go see Busy's um, cross pollination garden? I want to see everything because we have now another four or five minutes. I want to see all the visuals okay. that you think are worth pointing out. Here, quick, quick, this quick. is a, a fun little wall that I made. Oh, um, you, did you design this? Yeah, I did this piece. Um, and then Busy Barefoot yep. did our cross pollination lounge, which is. Um, all these beautiful flowers. I know, I'm going to talk to him about that later. Yeah. Now, what was your design on this? I thought that was extremely in All reds and oranges. Yeah, well, um, last year, Mix had um, a kind of like passageway of abstract boobs. Yes. And so I decided to carry on the tradition of a boob wall. So I made these kind of from... What do you make them out of? I mean, I see all these... Are they all paper or? Those are paper cups. These are uh, hot glued jewels on, I think, maybe. I love your fingernails. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time hot gluing gemstones. So uh -huh. a lot of this material is um, donated to us through Material for the Arts, uh -huh. um, who are very generous for us and help it, help it make possible for us to And raise. what happens to it when you're all done with it? Well, we, as much as we can, we donate things back to Material for the Earth, oh. and we also build a green donated this year, and we'll be donating material back. But we try to reuse. Um, well, a lot of this stuff looks like it work at well for Christmas decorations, yeah, and hospitals, you know, or orphanages. Or and something. you know, when we start to take the part, the place apart, starting Monday when we deinstall, we need volunteers that for that. Is that depressing? You know. It is just a part of the process. It's, you know, it's an ephemeral Death world. is part of life. It, decay, decay is a part of life. And so I'm sure that um, people, if people want to come... Anything's come out much better than you expected or much worse than you expected? I'm it, just curious. It is beyond anything I could imagine. Uh -huh. It's very, it's very beautiful. It was a really amazing and what, process. What is this very This is a uh, veracity. This is um, Stephen Chen. Here from Canada, um, yes. and so this is a multi-channel video yeah. talking about landscape and violence, and those are all places um, that had like hate crimes against queer people oh. reported. Oh. So it is kind of just this mapping out landscape and that kind of queer experience. Oh, so. Wow. It's a little bit of a, a happier piece. I, I didn't see that. I saw the images and I didn't know exactly what, you know, you have to study some of this to know what it's about. Yes. So I really. think, you know, I think it's what is interesting is that a lot of our work here is is layered, complex work that isn't right. about a simple read that you can see something, have your own association. And is it archived? Are there visual archives yes. of, the, of the illusions or whatever you would call it that have collected it mix over all the years? Yes, I do believe we have a really good archive thanks to Stephen Kent, um, our executive director. And we also um, create I think footage. it's very interesting because I know when I look at movies, things are dated by their technique, by the, the kind of you know, techniques that yeah. were available, what was there, the fashionable look at the times, you can tell it in advertising and yeah. movies. And I'm sure it also shows its own way in. Because I saw some of the trailers from, they had yeah. a whole series oh, of trailers. Oh, right? I love the old trailers. Yeah, I do yeah. too. I mean, it's 
it, it is a funny thing to think that, like, you know, who knows what will be the telling aesthetic of our time. It's, like, not really for us to know you at mean, the there's time. there's an Andy Warhol starving to death right here? I'm sure. We are in <laughs> New York. Or a Van Gogh with no yes, ear and no I, rent I'm and no sure. food. I'm Who's going to sure. die starving and then be discovered and be worth millions? Yes. <laughs> I mean, and I think that's why doing things like Mix is important, because we actually do archive and show queer artists so people don't slip to the cracks. Well, that's great. That's, that's great. what we're doing. You encourage people to give them an opportunity to... to yeah, yeah, to show show the work, take up the space, right. and create culture. That's what we're doing. And how is there any place that people can go on the internet to see any of this in a collected form, or is it... Yeah, uh, mixnyc.org. We also have a Tumblr, an Instagram, a Facebook, a Twitter. Just Google. I haven't us. gone to Instagram yet. Yeah. It's one that's one that's a lot bigger than the other. I mean, MySpace at one point was big, and it's still as big with musicians, I believe. I mean, really? Who that's knew? what I understand. The only people I know that use it still. I mean, no one, everyone else is on Facebook, but yeah, some everybody's musicians. Yeah, we on Facebook. Um, yeah, well, we are Mixfest at Mixfest on Instagram. Um, so that's you can find us. But yeah, we have okay. a strong presence and we're definitely, we've been written up a couple times already and have lots of people reviewing the work. So. Well, great. I look forward to seeing more of that. Okay. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome.